trying to be quiet. Cody and Sky are still asleep. I'm um, headed out for a run. two and a half miles so I'm okay with that. Still having to take short runs until I get my knees used to running again so
got back from the park and um, got another run in. So um, I ended up getting my mileage in for today. This morning I um, woke up a little bit late so I didn't get my full run in. So it's 11 o'clock now. Gonna make Sky some lunch. Probably sit down and start editing this video. Don't know if I'll film the rest of the day. We'll see. But um, <sighs> tired. <laughs> really tired for it to be 11 but um <clears throat> I've got a thing to go to with church tonight so I'll be out late so gonna try to go ahead and get this video edited so I don't have to worry about it later but I'm first gonna get lunch made for the baby oh and earlier I showed the um, turmeric toothpaste that I use um, that's the toothpaste that I made and um, that I've been using uh, most of the time. I still will use like regular toothpaste some, but mostly I use the turmeric. I'm getting you pickles. Um, usually I use the turmeric toothpaste, but um, also I've been using a um, turmeric. Some people call it turmeric. I don't know if it's turmeric or turmeric. Quit touching. But um, I. Uh, have been using a um, turmeric face mask as well and that has been awesome for my skin my skin has really benefited from that so I use a turmeric toothpaste a turmeric face mask and then I take turmeric or turmeric however you say it um, I take it twice a day so if it's says anti-inflammatory I pretty much did <laughs> just to help uh, help with my joints because as you can see like that's my that's my collarbone my plate is not doing as good as I would like for it to do it actually I've been having some issues with it with like my shirts sitting on it as you can see right there like I've got big gaps but it rubs my It'll, it's actually started to like rub the skin against the plate and like blister the skin and like peel the skin. It's pretty gross, but uh, just because of my shoulder and my knees and my back and all the different joint surgeries, um, I do a lot of anti-inflammatory stuff. So pretty much if it says anti-inflammatory, I'll give it a shot. But hey, I'm doing really well and I can't complain. Um, just like with running this morning, that's what I was telling Cody, you know, a couple years ago, even even just a couple years ago when I ran that half marathon, I just, I wasn't grateful for, for running like I am now because now I understand what it, what it means to, to have something taken away from you and feel up feeling like you may have lost that thing and even if it's something you don't necessarily enjoy but having your mobility you know taken away from you it's not really fun and five knee surgeries and each knee surgery I was down this was the quickest recovery by far but every other surgery I was down six months so six months times five that's a lot of time to be not physically active like you would like to be. And then my shoulder surgery, I was out three months with it. And then my back surgery, I was out a couple months. So I feel like I spent a lot of time down just recovering. So I'm thankful for what I learned during those times. But this morning getting up and running with the sunrise, I don't know, just a feeling of gratitude. Just, I don't know, just overwhelming. I guess is the easiest way to say, but just being grateful to be able to be out there, which is something that I didn't experience before, but just just having the opportunity, having the choice of whether or not I want to go run is a big deal now because I've been through times where it wasn't a choice. It couldn't happen. So having that choice and having the opportunity to go do it if I choose to is pretty awesome and just like I said just really 
being grateful and I catch myself as I'm running just thanking God for the opportunity to still be able to do that because um, I was supposed I mean like I'm supposed to be having a knee replacement so I mean you know I don't know what the comeback or what the you know what my body will allow after that knee replacement but I've been able to put it off and feel really good and you know I don't know what the future holds with the knee but right now is all I'm worried about and right now I'm feeling good and you know I went on two different runs today and I mean just so grateful for that opportunity to be able to move and you know six weeks from now it may be a completely different story and I'm you know having a knee surgery six months from now six years from now having the knee replacement you know who knows but I know that that is the next step it's a knee replacement so it's inevitable whether or not it's going to happen so I'm just going to enjoy right now what I'm doing right now training for the triathlon cycling and everything in between because why not I mean it's kind of it's you know every doctor says it's inevitable that it's going to happen because they can't repair my knee any more past what it is so I'm just gonna push it I guess I don't know maybe that's the wrong way to look at it maybe other people would you know stop and not do anything physically and just let their knee stay the way it is but you know if the surgery is inevitable then if I feel good then why not see what it'll do and see how well it holds up I don't know that may like I said that may be a, a crazy thing to do but I don't know we're not promised another day anyways so why live for a future that you don't never know if it's gonna come so, and I feel like that's what I've been doing a lot through my injuries is waiting on a future possibility that I don't ever know if it's going to be here. I don't ever know if I'm going to have the next surgery. I don't ever know if I'm going to be able to run next month. So, right now I feel good and right now I can do it. So, let's go with right now and not worry about what the future holds. So, I don't know where that came from, but... That's kind of how I'm, my brain is processing training right now. So just enjoying it right now. And then whatever comes from it will come from it. And whatever it, you know, turns into, that's okay. And if uh, a couple months from now, if, you know, it's something I'm not able to do, well, at least I can say I did everything I could do. And I did everything my body would let me do and everything I wanted to do. So... You can never, you know, ask more than that, you know, if you're doing everything that you can do, that's all you can ask. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the video because I'm just seven minutes into talking now and I know I've got all the footage from earlier. So, we're going to eat lunch, going to hang out, and going to spend Monday together. And, um, like I said, we've got a church thing to now. Uh, church thing tonight, me and Cody have been very blessed with the opportunity to help out with the college group at our church. So, We've um, really, really been excited about that. That's been a big topic around here is just really getting to see the fulfillment of where we felt like God's led us for so long. So anyways, I know you're hungry. So I'm going to feed her and we will see y'all later. You want to tell the camera bye? Bye. Can you see yourself? No. Bye. Say so see you later. See you later. Bye.